Welcome back to Creative Aid! How to make cheese at home. This is an easy recipe. First, you need a cooling rack to avoid direct contact of the heat with the milk. You can also do the double boiler method. Use a large pot, then start pouring 4 liters of pasteurized milk. Turn on the heat. While the milk is heating up, you also need one and a half tablets of rennet. You can find it in supermarkets or pharmacies. Crush the rennet, then add a quarter of a cup distilled water. Mix it until completely dissolved. You must stir the milk every little bit to prevent it from sticking to the bottom of the pot. Using a food thermometer, measure the temperature of the milk until it reaches 40 degrees Celsius max. If the temperature is higher than that, it will destroy the rennet. Once it reaches this temperature, remove it from the heat and add the rennet mixture. Mix it well. Then close the lid and place the pot in a dark, warm place, such as the oven for two hours. Once it's done, it will look like this. You can break it with a knife to make sure that the whey has completely separated from the cheese. Now cut the cheese into cubes. Place a pan below the colander to collect the whey. Cover the colander with clean gauze or cheesecloth. Using a spatula, remove the cheese slowly from the pot into the colander. To avoid wasting any cheese, pour the rest into the colander. Fold the cloth and press firmly to remove the whey. When you feel that the cheese can start to hold together, shape it in the gauze and tighten the gauze so it can hold its shape. Now you can put a plate or any smooth surface and put a jug of water or something very heavy to remove the rest of the whey. You must leave it in the fridge like so overnight. When it's done, it will look like so. If you'd like to use this cheese for desserts, you don't have to add salt. But if you'd like, you can simply cut it into cubes and add salt to it and eat it as you'd normally do. Thank you for watching and if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos.